even something as simple as like eye contact in a situation where there's a possibility of finding a sexual partner is a very important component of that because eye contact indicates interest and it also indicates at least in principle the possibility of approach and so approach is a is dopaminergically mediated and it's a positive emotional state and that's also why interestingly enough if you go into a grocery into a uh, pharmacy and there's a rack of magazines and there are, what's on the cover always almost always beautiful woman like on 50% of the men's magazines, there's a beautiful woman, and on like 100% of the women's <laughs> magazines, which is really interesting, you know, because you might think, well, why is that? Well, and the woman's eyes are always looking out in a way that they're looking at you. So, there was some interest. So, it's an invocation of interest. And so, you know, magazines evolve. All the ones that don't get bought fail. And so what's happened is they all converge to the same point. And the same point is the thing that's maximally interesting to a magazine purchaser is a, fem is a beautiful female face, whether it's male or female. Now, on the male side, there's also gadgets of all sorts. So, and that may be because men are more gadget-oriented than women. So, anyways. And we also know that, for example, with men, if you show them... This is a funny little study. So you show them... A the, the face of a beautiful woman and her eyes are looking that way or this way or they're looking right at him. You can check the activity in the dopaminergic center in a place called the nucleus accumbens which is the same place that cocaine hits. Face on eye contact, that thing lights up. It lights up even more if she's wearing a red dress. <laughs> right, and you can get the same kind of lighting up with a red curvy sports car. <laughs> yeah. So it's, uh, you know, my, my, my thought when I... When I when I read that was the perfect situation is like a beautiful girl dressed in red, perched on a sports car with some cocaine. So, <laughs> I, I read. I read. Why red? Yes. That's a good that's a good question. I'm not exactly sure why oh, that's wrong. I do know why red. <laughs> ripe fruit. <laughs> Women have co evolved with ripe fruit. <laughs> It's very sneaky of you, by the way. So that's why you know that, too. You just have to leave through a women's magazine. And the lipstick is always associated with, like, apples that are glistening in some way, or a peach or something like that. And we're, we were primarily fruit eaters. And the reason we have color vision is to detect fruit, ripe fruit. And so part of the reason that, also part of the reason that fruit turns red or colored when it ripens is because the fruit that was successfully eaten by creatures that distributed the six seeds was the fruit that was ripe when it was eaten. And so as the color vision evolved, maybe there was a red tint for God only knows what reason, then a positive feedback loop developed and fruit got redder and redder. And at the same time, women capitalized on that. So that's partly, I think, what explains the association between Eve and the apple in, in, uh, in Genesis. Because Genesis is also a story about gaining sight. So, yeah, so that's why red. So that's pretty funny. I really think that's pretty funny. So, you know, evolved, mod, evolved sensory significance is absolutely everywhere, you know, and it, it's so deep inside of us. Yeah. I'd have to wonder about blood, too. That seems like it also. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Red's a significant color. But I think, I mean, and it's funny, too, because say, say there's a flushed face. Well, that means it's infused with blood. It's also a sign of health. It's also a sign of sexual arousal, but it is a sign of health. And so you see, in, in old Coke ads from the 1930s, the girl's cheeks are so red that, you know, it looks like she has a fever. So it's, it's often, it's a, it's a form of sexual signaling that indicates uh, health. So that's another part. I mean, these are multiply determined, right? It is anything as complex as vision. Yeah, and blood means, hey, maybe don't go there. Or maybe it means there's something to eat, right?